Globe Telecom, commonly shortened as Globe, is a major provider of telecommunications services in the Philippines. It operates one of the largest mobile, fixed line, and broadband networks in the country. Globe Telecom's mobile subscriber base reached 60.7 million as of end December 2017, down 3% from the 62.8 million subscribers reported a year ago. The company's principal shareholders are Ayala Corporation and Singapore Telecommunications. It is listed on the Philippine Stock Exchange under the ticker symbol GLO and had a market capitalization of $3.8 billion as of the end of June 2018. Globe's main competitors in the fixed-line telephone market are PLDT and Digitel. Bayontel used to be one of its competitors prior to its acquisition by Globe. In the mobile phone market, its main competitors are the Smart and Talk and Text brands of Smart Communications and Sun Cellular, a wholly owned subsidiary. In 2016, Globe introduced its Globe Lifestyle brand as a way to connect to its customers through fashion. It also launched two entertainment divisions, Globe Studios, which focuses on film and television production, and Globe Live, which focuses on live concerts and musical events. History in 1928, Congress passed Act No. 3495 granting the Robert Dollar Company, a corporation organized and existing under the laws of the state of California, a franchise to operate wireless long-distance message services in the Philippines. Subsequently, Congress passed Act No. 4150 in 1934 to transfer the franchise and privileges of the Robert Dollar Company to Globe Wireless Limited, which was incorporated in the Philippines on 15 January 1935. Globe Wireless Limited was later renamed as Globe McKay Cable and Radio Corporation. Globe McKay. Through Republic Act. Raw. Number 4630 enacted in 1965 by Congress, its franchise was further expanded to allow it to operate international communication systems. Globe McKay was granted a new franchise in 1980 by Batasang Pambansa, under Batas Pambansa 95. In 1974, Globe McKay sold 60% of its stock to Ayala Corporation, local investors and its employees. It offered its shares to the public on the 11th of August 1975. In 1992, Globe McKay merged with Clavisia Radio Corporation, a domestic telecommunications pioneer, to form GMCR, Inc. GMCR. The merger gave GMCR the capability to provide all forms of telecommunications to address the international and domestic requirements of its customers. GMCR was subsequently renamed to Globe Telecom, Inc. Globe. In 1993, Globe partnered with Singapore Telecom, Inc. STI, a wholly owned subsidiary of Singapore Telecommunications Limited, Singtel, after Ayala and STI signed a Memorandum of Understanding. In 2001, Globe merged with Isla Communications Company, Inc. Ilacom a joint venture with Deutsche Telekom as foreign partner. It became its wholly owned subsidiary effective 27 June 2001. Deutsche Telekom eventually sold its share to Singapore Telecom. In 2003, the National Telecommunications Commission, NTC, granted Globe Telecom's application to transfer its fixed-line business assets and subscribers to ILACOM, pursuant to its strategy to integrate all of its fixed-line services under ILACOM. Subsequently, ILACOM was renamed as Innovate Communications, Inc. In 2004, Globe invested in GXchange, Inc. GXI, a wholly owned subsidiary, to handle the mobile payment and remittance service marketed under the GCASH brand using Globe Telecom's network as transport channel. GXI started commercial operations on 16 October 2004. In November 2004, Globe and seven other leading Asia-Pacific mobile operators, JV Partners, signed an agreement, JV Agreement, to form Bridge Alliance. The joint venture company operates through a Singapore-incorporated company, Bridge Mobile Private Limited, BMPL, which serves as a commercial vehicle for the JV Partners to build and establish a regional mobile infrastructure and common service platform to deliver different regional mobile services to their subscribers. 
The Bridge Alliance currently has a combined customer base of over 250 million subscribers among its partners in India, Thailand, Hong Kong, South Korea, Macau, Philippines, Malaysia, Singapore, Australia, Taiwan and Indonesia. In 2005, Innove was awarded by the National Telecommunications Commission NTC, with a nationwide franchise for its fixed-line business, allowing it to operate a local exchange carrier service nationwide and expand its network coverage. In December 2005, the NTC approved Globe Telecom's application for third-generation 3G radio frequency spectra to support the upgrade of its cellular mobile telephone system. CMTS network to be able to provide 3G services. Globe was assigned with 10 MHz MHZ of the 3G radio frequency spectrum. On 19 May 2008, following the approval of the NTC, the subscribers' contracts of Touch Mobile TM, prepaid service were transferred from Innove to Globe, which now operates all wireless prepaid services using its integrated cellular networks. In August 2008, and to further grow its mobile data segment, Globe acquired 100% ownership of Entertainment Gateway Group. EGG, a leading mobile content provide in the Philippines. EGG Group is engaged in the development and creation of wireless products and services accessible through telephones or other forms of communication devices. It also provides internet and mobile value-added services, information technology and technical services including software development and related services. EGGC is registered with the Department of Transportation and Communication DOTC, as a content provider. On May 15, 2014, EGGC changed its corporate name from Entertainment Gateway Group Corp. to Yandu, Inc. Yandu. On 30 October 2008, Globe, the Bank of the Philippine Islands and Ayala Corporation signed a memorandum of agreement to form a joint venture that would allow rural and low-income customers access to financial products and services. Last October 2009, the Banco Central ng Pilipinas BSP approved the sale and transfer by BPI of its shares of stock in Pilipinas Savings Bank, Inc. PSBI, formalizing the creation of the venture. Globe Telecom's and BPI's ownership stakes in PSBI is at 40% each, while AC's shareholding is at 20%. The partners plan to transform PSBI, now called BPI Globe Banco, Inc., into the country's first mobile microfinance bank. The bank's initial focus will be on wholesale lending to other microfinance institutions but will eventually expand to include retail lending, deposit taking, and microinsurance. BPI Globe Banco opened its first branch in Metro Manila in the first quarter of 2011 and now has six branches nationwide, over 2,000 partner outlets, 261,000 customers and over P2.4 billion in its wholesale loan portfolio. On 25 November 2008, Globe formed GTI Business Holdings, Inc., GTIBH, primarily to act as an investment company. In March 2012, Globe launched Kickstart Ventures, Inc. Kickstart to help, support and develop the dynamic and growing community of technopreneurs in the Philippines. Kickstart is a business incubator that is focused on providing aspiring technopreneurs with the efficient environment and the necessary mechanisms to start their own business. Since its launch, Kickstart has 10 companies in its portfolio covering the digital media and technology, and web, mobile platform space. In May 2013, ABS-CBN Convergence, Inc. ABS-C, formerly Multimedia Telephony, Inc., announced the launch of its mobile brand, ABS-CBN Mobile. The launch of the new mobile brand is being supported through a network sharing agreement with Globe, wherein the latter provides network capacity and coverage to ABS-C on a nationwide basis. ABS-C formally launched the brand on November 26, 2013. In October 2013, following the court's approval of the amended rehabilitation plan, jointly filed by Globe and Bayontel in May 2013, Globe acquired a 38% interest in Bayontel by converting Bayontel's unsustainable debt into common shares. This follows Globe Telecom's successful tender offer for close to 97% of Bayontel. 
S. Outstanding indebtedness as of December 2012. As part of the amended rehab plan and pending regulatory approvals, Globe would further convert a portion of its sustainable debt into common shares of Bayontel, bringing up its stake to around 56%. In October 2014, Globe Telecom received a copy of the Temporary Restraining Order TRO, issued by the Court of Appeals stopping the National Telecommunications Commission's NTC proceedings in connection with the bid of Globe Telecom Inc. to take over Bayan Telecommunications Inc. Bayantel. Despite the lapse of the Temporary Restraining Order TRO, last December 9, 2014, the Court of Appeals has advised the NTC to refrain from conducting any proceedings in connection with the bid of Globe assume majority control of Bayontel. On June 3, 2014, Globe signed an agreement with Azalea Technology, Inc. and SCS Computer Systems, acquiring the entire ownership stake in Asticom. Asticom, a systems integrator and information technology services provider to domestic and international markets, is 49% owned by Azalea, a 100% owned subsidiary of Ayala Corporation and 51% owned by SCS Computer Systems, a subsidiary of Singapore Telecom. On June 30, 2015, Globe Incorporated Global Capital Venture Holdings, Inc., a wholly owned subsidiary organized under the laws of the Philippines and formed for the purpose of venturing into strategic non-core business. On August 27, 2015, Globe Telecom, Inc., Globe, Ayala Corporation, AC, and Bank of the Philippine Islands, BPI, signed an agreement to turn over full ownership of BPI Globe Banco, Banco, to BPI, one of the majority owners of the joint venture. In Q3 2016, Globe Telecom dislodged Smart Communications as the largest telecommunications company in terms of subscriber base with 65.8 million subscribers, 200,000 more than its rival. In 2017, Globe Telecom's CEO, Ernest C.U. was named the CEO of the Year by the World Communications Awards 2017. In 2018, Globe Telecom was selected as the best workplace in Asia, and the Internet was proposed to be extended in Europe. Ownership The following are the major stockholders of Globe Telecom as of 30 June 2015. Ayala Corporation, 13.85%, with common shares of 40,351,591. Singtel, 21.51%, with common shares of 62,646,487. Asiacom, 54.43%, with preferred shares of 158,515,016. Directors, Officers, ASOP, 0.07%, with common shares of 205,027, preferred shares of 5. Public Stock, 10.14%, with common shares of 29,537,111. Subsidiaries Innovate Communications, Inc. Innovate, 100% ownership Kickstart Ventures, Inc. Kickstart, 100% ownership Flipside Publishing Services, Inc. FPSI, 40% ownership AdSpark Inc. 100% ownership Yandu, formerly known as Entertainment Gateway Group Corp., 49% ownership. Mint Globe Fintech Innovations, Inc., 100% ownership. GTI Business Holdings, GTI, 100% ownership. Asticom Technology, Inc., 100% ownership. Joint Ventures AVS CBN Convergence 32% Bridge Mobile 10% ownership Cherry Mobile prepaid Affiliate Bayan Telecommunications Inc BTI 98 57% ownership AF Payments Inc 20% ownership Slogans See also Ayala Corporation TM 
References External links Official website